Welcome to Thanksgiving week. First off, let me wish you all a, a happy holiday period. I know that many of you, maybe most of you, maybe all of you have family and other loved ones that you're going to want to hang out with this week. Uh, in fact, my husband and I are going to be on the road a couple of days uh, heading to Kentucky and Tennessee. Um, so I think our first job this week has got to be to love on the people that are around us and who take care of our lives and let them know how important they are to us and enrich those relationships. Uh, and I think that's ought to be our first job this week. So I've made a few suggestions, to, uh, excuse me, uh, changes to the schedule this week, uh, and I'll take you through them one at a time, and um, then I'll turn you loose and let you go. Um, first off, uh, other than watching this video, uh, there's there's nothing else that's going to be required this week. All the activities are optional, and I'll take you through those one at a time. But first, you'll notice that the discussions and things which are optional this week are more about the capstone project than they are about the poetry paper that's due uh, next week. Uh, I think from the comments I've been reading, most of you understand the poetry paper. It's exactly the same as the short fiction paper. You know, you, you read some examples, you apply the knowledge of the class, you draw some conclusions, you get an argumentative thesis uh, and you make your case for your position um, and if you didn't do so well on the first one then go back to that first essay that the short fiction essay read my comments review the things I suggested for review think over that stuff pay attention to the assignment sheet do what the assignment sheet asks you to do and do better on this one if you did fine on the first one, do the same thing on this one. So this one is not substantially different other than it uses poetry rather than short fiction and a few different elements um, that are specific for poetry. Again, the assignment sheet is up this week. Please listen very carefully now to what I'm about to say. There is also a link for the peer review. That is not the link for the final and there is no assignment sheet for the peer review because I'm going to explain that to you right now. Uh, the peer review is optional this week. I know I said it would be required, but since it's Thanksgiving week, I thought you might uh, appreciate having it be optional. Number one, if you do a peer review, your work will be better and your grade will be higher. So you'll have to decide whether you're going to make the time to do the peer review or not. If you do a peer review, there's a window in the discussions uh, that says peer review, and that's where you're going to go and you negotiate with each other. Other people will pop in there and you will volunteer to peer review each other's papers. Uh, you can exchange papers however you want, but you're going to use that forum to uh, negotiate these exchanges. This is going to be in your hands this week. I'm not going to force it. Um, so if you do peer review, then to get the extra credit points, up to 20 points, you must provide me with some evidence that you have, in fact, done peer review. So you can exchange papers electronically uh, and have your, have, your stu have your colleagues put their comments on using the track changes thing, as I do when I return your papers, or if you want, and, and then you would save, in that case, you'd save your paper with your comments, colleagues' comments on it, and that's what you would upload at the link, the peer review link. You may decide alternatively to get together in person with your colleague and have them write on your paper and mark it up, uh, in which case you'd need to, to uh, take a picture of it on your phone and upload that picture file to the link. I have not restricted the kinds of file uploads that you can do so you can do whatever you do um, take a picture of it and upload it there at the link so that I have evidence that you've actually engaged in this activity if you show me that evidence then I will uh, grant up to 20 points extra credit this is not uh, 
required credit. This is extra credit. Okay. Another option would be if you can't get any of your colleagues in the class to peer review for you, find someone else to do it. Go see a tutor in the lab or uh, pick a friend from another English class or even a, an articulate relative who can feed back ideas. But get your paper marked up and then show me the marked up version of your paper by next Monday night. Okay, And you do that by uploading something to that link. Uh, you can upload a file, you can upload uh, a PDF, you can upload a screenshot, you can upload a, um, a, a picture of your paper, however uh, you get it done. But get it done and you get some extra credit. Okay. The upload link in this week's module, again, please listen very carefully, the upload link in this week's module is for the peer review. The assignment sheet is for the big paper that's due next week or in two weeks. Uh, so don't uh, don't upload um, don't upload your final if you happen to get the final done. Don't upload your final at the peer review link. That's for peer review. The upload for the final link will be next week. Okay. Um, again, if you have any questions, um, probably I'm going to refer you back to what I've just very carefully explained. But by all means, ask your questions if you need to. Uh, I'll be around even though we're on the road. I'll, I'll be checking in. The other thing is there are three optional discussions there that have various papers that show how the process of the capstone project would work. Uh, I've had several people asking about more for, for some more specific guidance about the capstone project. And so I'm trying to respond to those requests. There's um, a full paper that I wrote uh, in two drafts. There's the working draft and then there's the final draft. That's all in one document and I've left that so you can see the work in process and see the changes I made from one draft to the next. Uh, and particularly note that the thesis statement didn't emerge until the third draft of that paper. It, it didn't get focused, it didn't emerge, it didn't really happen for me until the third draft of that paper. That's a paper that I wrote as an example to my students uh, last time I taught um, LGBT Lit, I think it was. Or it might have been American Lit, I don't remember. Uh, so there's, there's one, then there's a draft, there's a, a copy of an actual student's paper analyzing the novel Morris by Ian Forster, um, written by an actual student in that class. Uh, and then and I know that was from the last time I taught LGBT Lit class. And then the last time I taught Women in Lit, uh, women, I think Women in Literature is the name of the class, the last time I taught that, uh, and by the way, interestingly enough, that was the last class I ever taught face-to-face -face in person at COD. It was the last class I taught before I retired. And in that class, I was going to do the same thing, uh, write a paper for the students to observe the process uh, and I uh, this retirement thing came down so quickly that uh, I, I'm, I'm afraid that distracted some of my time and I didn't get it done but I did begin the process of drafting that paper and you have there some of my notes uh, some of my questions that I asked myself and you have there a body paragraph uh, which would have gone somewhere in the body of that paper and you have a working thesis so you see um, in that paper um, it's, I think I call it the vagina paper or something like that in that paper you see the very very first preliminary sketches uh, and you note that I started with what was already on my mind and I started with a roughly working thesis. Now that would have morphed over time into a full paper had I had the time to finish it, but I just didn't with everything else that was going on. So there are three, actually four papers for you to examine and talk about there. Those are optional discussions. You don't have to do them, but I guarantee 
if you take the time to read through those papers, think about the process, and then discuss it with your colleagues, your final work will be better, absolutely guaranteed. You may not have time to do this this week. You may choose not to take the time to do this this week, and that's entirely in your hands. This week is in your hands. Uh, so there are there's this lecture that you're viewing. There are uh, there's the opportunity to do a peer review for extra credit if you choose to, um, and some of you need to choose to do that. Uh, and then there are three example papers for you to look at and discuss with your colleagues if you wish. Uh, if, no, if you go into a forum and you read the paper and you put up a comment and nobody responds, uh, I will pop in at, at least and read your comment and respond to you. So I'll at least, if nobody else talks to you, I will at least talk to you. Uh, although I am going to be, you know, as I said, traveling some this week myself. So the week is entirely optional. There's things that you can do to help yourself. Most of you should do those things. But if you choose not to do those things, uh, there will be no penalty this week. This, this week has a null value in terms of, of points except for the extra credit for the uh, for the peer review draft okay so love on your peeps have a wonderful week be careful out there there's a lot of crazy people on the road uh, and back here in indiana where i live it's getting cold and uh, we even had a little snow last night so if you're traveling anywhere like that be safe all right love you guys i will be talking at you next week bye bye